Chaos And Lano Rim is right, it is the start of Spooky Month, and it is the beginning of a whole new set of streams for me, although not really so new, especially as it comes to this one, but uh, let's kick things off right as she said. Oh, this is one of my favorite games, to be perfectly honest with you, but I played this game for such a long time now. And uh, every Halloween, going back to probably 2020, 2021, I've been playing this game. But of course, this isn't the only game we'll see during the month of October. Uh, all right, apparently that's all it took. All right, see you guys later. We're done. But uh, this is not the only Halloween-style game we'll be playing, of course. There'll be some other ones. I'm not a big horror fan, to be honest, so don't expect a lot of horror games, although we might dive into the quarry a little bit more. That's a game that I started on Halloween last year. Uh, but for right now, like I said, we got Pumpkin Jack, a very old school style platformer that just happens to have this great Halloween aesthetic and Halloween style music. And to usher in the new Halloween season. Oh, piece of candy. Yes, sorry, usher in the new Halloween season, we have pieces of candy. Hey, what's up, Alyssa Raven 2? What's up? I, for some reason, it says you're a new viewer, but I thought you were here before. We got Reese's too. Hmm. Just to kick off the new season, we got Reese's as well. I'm still working. Sorry, I'm gonna read this as I eat the candy, by the way. Hmm. I'm still working, sadly, so I'll pop in here and there. But I'll be looking the whole time. We'll be back in chat after 7.30. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna say it. You're gonna make me put the mask on, which I will do, but then you're not gonna be here to see it. And I feel like you just want, you want me to put the mask on, but you're not gonna be here to see it. That's fine. All right, so five minutes, starting now. This, of course, is one of my classic Phantom masks. There you go. When yes, Ram, I will say the line. What's going on, Bex? Happy Halloween. Well, happy Beginning of Halloween season. I think I'm about to actually take the headset off and put it back on. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, this is happening. Hey yo. Hey, I wonder if Starbucks is open. All right. We set the line. We did the thing. We got Bex and Rem. We got somebody named uh, is that Eliza? Lisa? Uh, let's start the countdown officially here. Who just so happened to follow me on Twitter, along with the other people who share a very similar name. I think I thought about this in one of my last streams where I'm like, huh, people who are named like Ella Raven or Elsa or whatever, or some combination. I literally have a whole rant on this. Uh, it usually doesn't end well. In fact, it usually goes exactly this way. And yes, I'm going to sound weird for the next four or so minutes. But uh, yeah, usually, long story short, somebody named Alyssa Raven or Raven Alyssa or Ella Alyssa, etc. will follow me on Twitter then just happened to pop up my stream toward the beginning of the stream to tell me that they followed me and then well you can all guess what happens next but anyhow I'm not even gonna let that get me down in fact this is one of the few nights and one of the few streams where I don't mind all the silly little gimmicks and rewards because quite honestly I don't care about the game that much I checked the Twitter I me to tell you now I was gonna say I didn't check this particular one but there was one I checked where it was like well, it was basically graphic artists, but it wasn't just a graphic artist. It was somebody who brought things to life through, like, design or something. It was, like, so dramatic. It was like, I bring the world to life through my work and design. Seeing the world through an artistic lens. I'm like, I was like, are you serious right now? Like, are you God? Like, what are you doing? Anyhow, I'm not going to go to continue because, I don't know. Believe it or not, I actually beat this game. This is one of the few games I beat, and I, I should have because... I haven't played it so many freaking times. It's not a very long game. Why is it doing that every time I, like, change the freaking whatever? Where's that thunderclap coming from? Alright, let's see. How much does it? Let me see. Uh, God, it's been so long, I don't even remember. Let's do the haunted mine. I hope I'm able to, like, get out of levels and reselect them if I don't like them, but we'll find out. Like I said, this is less about the game I'm playing, and it's about some weird tradition that I have. Pertaining to Halloween, Halloween type games. Stingy Jack, the okay. genius trickster. I know what that was. That was my TV himself. volume being cranked way up. To the and I gotta find my remote. I'm wearing a mask with very bad eyesight. And his soul cruelly bound to a festival pumpkin. Jack has been joined by his stoic guide, the owl, and common. He really does. When are Starbucks is open? Alright, so that's what that noise was. I got a new TV there recently, and the bass is like kind of weird. Game. I know your Jack weird conditions. The there you do. What's going on, IDM Pod? I hope you're feeling better, by the way. A little shout out to my Jack friend there, IDM Pod. Uh, good guy the overall. Not, not just being like Randy and saying that. He is a cool guy. And today's the kickoff of Halloween month. Um, but IDM Pod has not been feeling too well. Haven't seen him at work in a couple days. And I know he was saying he wasn't feeling well on Sunday. So here's to you, man. Uh, day three. Hopefully you're feeling better. Uh, this is Pumpkin Jack, one of Randy's favorite games. Just don't ever ask him about it, or he'll probably tell you he doesn't like it. Uh, I forgot how janky this game was. Like, when you jump, like, he just holds on to, like, his little staff or whatever here. Bobby is a legend. Oh, shit, it's Randy. He's here now. He's taken over the account of uh, IDM Pod. I was like, just, I was just wondering, like, how could there be a level select in this game when this game is just kind of one big open-ended thing, but whatever. Open inventory. Oh, I, I get all my weapons from the end of the game. It's almost like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a new game plus. With the mask on, I almost understand you as well as the adults in the peanut movies. I do enjoy it. Wait, movies? They made more than one? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. I'm not going to actually take it, but I am going to just use it whatever. Mm, no one I know, so I'm good. More. I got all right, he really is a janky jacko. That's why I only have this thing on for five minutes, because anything more than that is just annoying. Hell, even the five minutes is annoying. He keeps telling me to open inventory, and then I do. <laughs> but Mrs. Charlie, I did my homework. Did the clock freeze at one? The clock froze at 120. I'm still wearing this goddamn thing, and the clock froze at 120. Do I play it through? What the hell? None of this Bobby can be considered annoying. Hey yo, hey, I, I just wished you well, man. I was all like on your side. Holy crap! Oh my god, the timer's like going down to 35 now. That's hilarious. And I assume that only happened for me. The clock froze at 120. Hoo hoo! Here we are. Not a second behind schedule. What is this place? 
These old mines are brimming with power. It's the devil's belief that deep in these tunnels lies a key to our enemy's plot. Yeah, that was so weird with the time just being frozen like that, and then it like just went all the way to the end. Hey, yo. I was gonna say, I forgot what the plot was of this game, if there even is one. All right, all right, that time is up. Take the mask off. Unfortunately, I can't guarantee the face under the mask is going to be all that much better looking. Because you're still useful to me, and I'll pummel you if you even try to flap off. Hoo-hoo, all this old mine equipment is rusted to bits, but these tunnels are solid. Guess I'm not doubt that. Hop to it, Jack. Tell me what to do. We'll see how I feel. Oh, yeah. So, how's everybody doing here? We got, uh, like I said, some Halloween action here. Pumpkin Jack, to be exact. I know one popular uh, streamer friend of mine, Randy himself. Very excited to see this one make a return. Oh, no, I'm dying. I know Rem enjoys that. Not because she enjoys seeing me die, but because she gets to hear that stupid failure music you hear when that happens. Enemies. Oh, the combat is so smooth. New checkpoint. I want to see something. Am I, if I go to that, like the main menu, just in case, I assume I can pick another level. Assuming this one is not up to my lofty standards. We'll find out right now. Like I said, it's less about this game and more about just the fact that Halloween season's back. I'm kind of feeling it. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? Etc. Etc. Okay, that ended, I'm gonna say until then, that enemy really wasn't doing a goddamn thing. Hey yo. I say, aren't I supposed to like ride a minecart on this part of the level? Like I'm just walking on the mine track. Like this used to be a minecart section. You can clearly tell it is or was. Also, hitting pretty much anything gives you health back, so that's good. But you will die a lot in this game. Don't ask me how, but you will. Does nothing stay dead around here? Enemies. Hey, yo! Oh, oh no, skeletons! Oh, they're terrifying! There we go. Don't quit your day job, skeletons. More, right now. Seriously, man, how are you feeling, uh, IDM Pod? More enemies, ouch. Hey, yo. It's here for janky PS2 style platformers even though this didn't come out on PS2 this came out like three or four years ago I don't think this is on PS5 if you want it because I'm playing this game for them. oh yeah you said six I really did it's almost like this is why I try not to say times that I'm going to stream because I don't know if I can make them or not unless it's Retromania that, to be fair, it's only been like 15 minutes, so you're right here for the action. Hey, what's going on, Queen Bee and Toaster Cartridge? Thanks for joining us tonight. This is Pumpkin Jack, a little, uh, I would say this is an indie game, but I actually don't know who made this game. Uh, but yeah, we are here for the first um, stream of October, of course. Uh, spooky month, as Lena Rem put it. With Pumpkin Jack, one of the best games maybe ever. Probably not. I hope you're ready for some cardio, Jack. You'll have to blow these rocks away with this. Ah, oh, no, I forgot about this part. This is like where you have to like turn your head into the pumpkin and like put, you'll see. Yeah, this part's not great. Although, I'm waiting for the minecart part. So if I remember correctly, that part's even worse. All right, just took my head off. Ah, oh, I always hated these parts. All right. More hating this part right now. Like I said, this is one of the few times I really, like, you know, usually I'm like, oh, I gotta focus on the game, guys, you know, I can't really chat, I gotta play this game. This is one of the times I don't give a fuck, like, I'll talk about whatever you guys want, we'll do whatever, we'll have a good time and whatnot. Not that we don't usually have a good time, but, you know, I'm not, like, 
I'm not trying to collect Astrobots here. I'm not trying to get Chaos Emeralds. I'm not trying to be the final boss. I'm not trying to do anything even remotely important. I'm just having this game on. Where's our boy Randy? This isn't the final boss. I am really... Now, I don't know if you've heard this, Shads, but um, I reduced that final boss's health to zero. So that boss is dead. Uh, that's just how video games work. When you reduce a boss's health to zero, you win the fight. So, ergo... Again, I'm not trying to show off here, but I've won the fight because... Well, that's how final bosses, that's how any boss works. You reduce the health bar to zero. Like, if, I, if my health goes down to zero in this game, I'm dead. Like, I mean, I will show you the screenshot of that final boss's health going down to zero, although I shouldn't have to because you were right there for it. Uh, okay, I, I don't know how to hit this without knocking it into the freaking water or whatever. Shad's being a troll. I mean, I don't. I will show you guys the screenshots because th that thing was at zero. It was at zero for, like, a good five, ten seconds, too. It's not like it just hit zero and then was like, nope. Like, it was it was there. God, I hate these parts. Hey, yo! Oh, a little too soon, but I'll take it. Okay. Time for some more nonsense right now. Oh, no! Chicken! Hey, that actually worked in my favor. It's not really hard. It's just kind of bad. Hey, B, and you really did need that CO bibble. Which apparently was a real thing. Sort of. Hey, B, and IDM pod, and Bex, and Toaster. Yeah, we got a good little crowd here. I'm sure Randy will show up at some point, probably to complain about the game, and then go away. He'll be like, oh, I hate this game. And then we'll never see him again. But tonight. I mean, we'll hopefully see him again. Just not tonight. How long do I have to do this? <laughs> like, this is so dumb. Oh, thank God. It's dead. More Pumpkin Jack, right now. Almost looks like I'm in the game, because behind me it's all purple and orange, too. You really are there. I never said you weren't. You're not Randy. We were talking about Randy. Okay, so what was the point of that? Zero is prime! I don't know why I said it in that weird, creepy voice. Zero is prime! We are primed to have a good time right now. Saving? Well, when Chaos Blur streams, all the cool people gather, and it's, hey, yo! Aren't you sad that you're going to see the final sequence? Oh, uh, what? Sonic and his friends being like, Well, guys, we just, you know, destroyed an ancient civilization. Let's go home and have pizza. Like, all right, cool. Yeah, I've heard it's like basically the same ending as the original ending, which is pretty much that. If anything, the original ending had more heart to it. Hey, yo. Because the original ending actually had like sort of a bit of sadness to it. Whereas in the other ending, the only sadness was actually Plank. Enemies. Three should have ended. I mean, I feel like they all end like that in TMNT. Like, literally, I played that arcade game where it was basically like, Oh, we solved today's conflict. Let's get pizza. This reminds me so much of Metal. That's good. Yeah, that's a good reference. We might see Meta Evil at some point in October as well. Hey, oh. Whoa, enemies. Yeah, you can definitely tell they were inspired by games like that. And games that threw it just a crap ton of enemies at you for some reason. I'm trying to remember, which one was TMNT 3? I know TMNT 4 was Turtles in Time. TMNT 2 was the arcade game. Of course, the first one on NES, which was a terrible game. I'm blanking on 3. Was that like Mutants in Manhattan or something? The Manhattan Project? Okay, I guess these rats never stop showing up. God damn it. I'm not doing that all. Can I hit the... Okay, I can hit the pipe. All right, that gets rid of them for good. God damn, it's a lot of freaking rats. Rats, the musical of singing rats. I do enjoy Metal Gear Soquid, Solid Dave Thomas. Which stands for SCD, I caught that. Okay, here's the minecart. These are the parts that really suck. I wanted to make sure I got to one of the parts that's like really just janky, so. Just call me Bobby Jenks. Which was actually the name of a closer for the White Sox at one point. True story. Dave Thomas. If you're going to play Medieval, I'm going to be so happy. I've played Medieval before. I played almost every Halloween season. I just don't know. It was on my PS Plus, but I don't know if I could still have access to it because I downgraded my tiers. But anyway. Hey, yo. Yeah, I played Medieval. I mean, it's not like one of my favorite games, but it's a fun game. I like it better than this game, if I'm being honest. But this game just has too much tradition to not play it now. I failed to recall when you were calling the shots. 
I forgot when I when I forgot when that was my problem. It'll take more than this rusty old sardine tray to do me in. Eh, you say that now, but they made a PSP remake of um, Medieval. I know they made a PS4 remake of it, which is the one I usually play. This malfeasance, whatever that means, is going in the report. Jack, you madman, let's go. This is gonna be terrible, by the way. Hang on tight. Oh, sure, it looks fun. Ooh. I downgraded my tears because I saw the bill for PS Plus and I was crying real tears. Ooh, that was close. I say, this is only like the first part, like the first time you do this, so it shouldn't be too, too difficult. That's pretty cool. I mean, I don't imagine it would be any better or worse than the PS4 remake. Well, the PS4 remake's probably better, but not just graphically. I don't know if they added any content or anything. I'm surprised they never made like a true sequel to Medieval, but then again, I've never played the game through all the way, so I don't know, maybe he dies in the end or something. Spoilers. Speculated spoilers, because I don't know how the game ends. Are you paying? Um, no. I'm basically whatever the cheapest one is, because I wasn't really using the extra features. I mean, I, I'm literally just paying for the basic PS Plus, which is still not cheap, by the way. But between that and Game Pass, like, I already had enough things to, like, get me by. Like, I don't need, like, a million free games a month where I like maybe half of them, if that. Every now and then they'll have a good one, but... I'm like, I don't need to pay, like, $90 a year for that or whatever. I mean, I'm sure, there, I'm sure the PSP version is pretty good. I have a PSP. I can't really stream off it, but I have it. I'm actually surprised I did as well as I did on that. I didn't, I didn't die at all. Anyhow, where, where are we going right now? Not really an essential. Well, I'm just saying, when I downloaded Medi Medieval, that's how I've been playing it the past few years, like, it was part of my collection. Like, that was it. So I don't know how that works. If you downgrade, do you lose anything that you already downloaded, or does it just apply to the new stuff? If that makes sense. This is so whimsical. It actually strangely is. I'm, I'm actually playing one of the earlier levels in Pumpkin Jack, because toward the end of the game, it just gets really, like, cheap and kind of not fun. This I could just glide through and it really doesn't affect me much. But yeah, I really like the music in this, and I'm not even, like, the biggest Halloween fan, but I think they did a really good job in this. It's probably even better on, like, a PS4 or PS5, where there's better graphics. I don't know if this came out on PS5. It might have just come out on PS4. I'm playing the worst possible version, because I'm playing the Switch version. But, I mean, you don't really play this game for the visuals anyway. Let's just be honest. Like, this game's, like, purposely kind of lousy looking. But I don't say that in a mean way. I actually kind of like the bright colors. Like, this game wouldn't look right if it was, like, super high res or 4K, whatever. I mean, yes, it worked for Astro Bot and a few of its Halloween levels, but... If you grab the plus monthly, they stay. Just are locked if you resub the... Oh, so then, yeah, basically I'm fucked then. <laughs> like, who gives a... Okay, yeah, they appear in my library, but I can't use them. Alright, so I'm fucked. Alright. So, so no medieval this year. Because I'm not that into it that I'm going to pay for the game. I mean, it was something I played casually, but maybe once or twice a year at the most. I mean, this game, I've already gotten my $20 worth or whatever I paid for it. Because I've played it so many times. Just $10. Even so, I mean, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'm not even, I'm not going to do Halloween streams like every day in October. Either, just so everyone knows. So I'm going to, you know, do a decent amount of them. But Buffy, oh god, were you there when I played that game? I don't know if Queen Bee was on that stream. That was from a Retromania from a couple years ago where I did the Halloween games. I apparently got to pay for Medieval for some reason. Even though we're playing Pumpkin Jack right now. But yes, the Buffy the Vampire Slayer game was a thing that I played on Game Boy Advance. It was really stupid. It was mostly one big cutscene and then some very lousy controls. Medieval. Medieval. Well, yeah, I know the PS1. I didn't know they made a Medieval 2. Okay, that's what I was wondering. They never remade the second one, I'm guessing. Resurrection. Okay. Huh. I, I just didn't know there was a second game. Played it on Xbox. Okay, so you probably played the at least decent version. The version I played was, like, awful for uh, the Buffy game. It was, like, hit R to jump. Like, the controls were just really unintuitive. It, overall, it was just not a fun game. I'm sure they're on the PlayStation Store. Sonic DLC boss again. Well, I already killed that boss. I, I drained its health bar to zero, so it's dead. That's how bosses work, unfortunately. That's how they go. 
It's a bit like, is it really? I would not have expected that. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of games I can consider. The problem is, just like the rest of the year, like, I can only play so many games. And then, like, you know, I don't want to, like, miss any, like, the really good classics because I'm playing Buffy the Vampire Slayer on Xbox. But, like, if I have time, then sure, I'll get to it. I mean, it's only 30, well, only, but, you know, there's 31 days in October. I'm not going to do a Halloween stream all 31 days. I'm not going to stream all 31 days. So we're probably down to maybe 20 or so, 15, I don't know. I mean, not counting the Retromania stream, which will be a Halloween-themed one. Well, my point being, like, our, our opportunities are semi-limited, so, you know, these are good games to keep in the back of my mind and explore, but, you know, that's that's what makes these holidays so fleeting, is that, you know, you only get to play so many games, even the Hollow Stream. I haven't decided what I'm going to play for the official Hollow Stream this year, like the one I do on Halloween Day. That's still quite a ways away, though. Because, I mean, Halloween's still, like, 30 days away, but it, it feels like it's closer than that for some reason. So that's why I'm like, I gotta get on these Halloween streams, you know, now. Ooh, platforming. <laughs> Careful not to fall off. Sure play. I mean, I wasn't saying that, but if you want to make a sexual joke out of it, goddamn. If you want to make a sexual joke out of it, then go ahead. Hey, yo. I'm playing this for you guys. Hey, what's going on, Mars? Yeah, I really have not. This is the worst version. The Switch version looks good. I mean, just in terms of visuals, I don't know. I haven't looked at the other versions. They probably all look similar. I can't imagine this game really needs a lot of graphical fidelity. I'm not saying it's that bad looking. I mean, I think I got it on Switch because it was like $10 cheaper than the other ones. And again, this is not a game I exactly frequent. How you doing, Mars? No Retromania Halloween. No, there'll be a... I've already announced there's going to be a Retromania Halloween-themed episode. Not on Halloween, but in the month at some point. Hey, yo, but I like all the... I'm getting some good questions here. I feel like I'm getting interviewed. God damn it again. So you better not fall off that, you bitch. But no, to answer Toaster's question, I did not get my costume yet. Hey, yo. I don't know if I said... Uh, to be fair, I don't know if I said it tonight. In the past, I have said that there will be a Halloween Retromania. I just don't know the date for it yet. But, yeah, there will be one of those. Just there'll be another opportunity to get more Halloween games in real quick. Retromania's name, Eddie. Hey, yo. I do enjoy the odd bickering going on right now. I don't enjoy getting burned alive and then collecting that thing that says 13 out of 20. How the stuff of this game catches fire for no reason? Like, what the f- Alright, cool. I guess I'm dead. I'm just waiting. Shit, 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 shit. Wait, can I get in this minecart? Like, like actually use it? Or is it just here as a prop? Alright, fine. Will Smith slap is a particular kind of slap. Alright, I guess it's just here to look at. Cool. So it, there's a minecart in the minecart section, but you can't just ride the minecart. Oh, that's because these tracks just go around in a big circle. Cool. I mean, this game does what it does decently. It's, it's a platformer with mild combat elements. It's nothing we haven't seen before. It knows what it is. I think its biggest strength is actually its script, which has some really funny dialogue and moments. In the atmosphere, like... I mean, but as far as an actual game, like, these enemy designs are pretty, well, just whatever. Like I said, I think Medieval's better, and that's, I mean, that's a PS4 version. I, I never played the original, but I never had a PS4. Is this Blight Town? I, I doubt they took a place from another game, like uh, Dark Souls. Like, I don't think this is uh, any, I don't know who makes this game. I don't think it's a well-known studio, so I, I don't think they'd be like, hey, look, we're going back to Dark Souls in this one. I can't tell if I'm supposed to go this way or if that's the end of the track. I mean, I could probably... It probably just loops around. So that Mal guy, I... This is a different part of the course. I just picked a random level because I've already beaten the game. Oh, hold on. Time for a cutscene of epic quality. I mean, if you want it to be Blight Town, it can be. That does sound like something that'll be in this game. Oh, you must go no further. Okay, I will send you, I will send you a screenshot of the boss with zero health on Discord. You got it, man. I'll definitely get that for you, because you know that that could be done. This place does not welcome you. So if you want a screenshot of the boss with zero health, I, I don't know why I have to do this, because you were there for it. Maybe your memory's going, but a bunch of, ah, oh, I can see it. 
But yeah, if you want to see the boss with zero health, which you saw, it's on the video on demand, but you can see it again, I can fucking record the whole thing. I mean, that's, that's it. That's how a boss dies. Uh, actually, it's weird that my Discord has lasted this long. Also, B is on there, too. Who dares turn me away? I am Jack, mercenary of the devil himself. I'm actually kind of glad there's no voice acting in this, because these lines will come across just cheesy no matter who said them. I am the guardian of this place and the power it contains. Heed this warning, Jack. If you do not leave willingly, what's the difference how I leave? You will be removed from here in a thousand pieces. Okay, well, tiny pieces. Fuck that guy. What are my other weapons, by the way? Okay, I got this little sickle I can use. Yeah. Who the heck was that? Talk about your restless dead. Ha ha ha. You said it was supposed to be funny. It's kind of a pretty game to just kind of look at. And not really think about some of the weaker elements of it. Kind of reminds me of like Halloween Town or whatever. Yeah, they got crows in this game. There's a crow right in my head. Oh, you mean crow the user. Yeah, he's here. Or there. Ouch. Alright, that needed to not happen. The problem is if those, like, carts hit me, it's pretty devastating. It's not game over, but it doesn't help. This game is surprisingly forgiving with some of these balance beam like sequences. Ouch. Took that. That was more of the cards doing that. Dead. Maybe I just like the fact that I only play this game. If I play this game more than like once a month, I would go fucking insane. But like, because I play it so rarely, it's like, ah, it's a pretty decent game for what it is. I mean, yeah. You look at it from a distance, there's a bunch of blobs in the background, the sky is green, the music's just whatever, but. As a Halloween, like, I'm not even going to say enthusiast, but as someone who likes Halloween, like, I can appreciate this game. Like, it's not an amazing treat by any means, and that's why I do it first. You know, I do it to start October because it's, you know, it's tradition, you know. And you know at some point I'm going to get to this game, so I may as well just get to it now. I can still remember the night, it was 2021, and Metroid Dread had just come out, and I actually did a double stream. I did this game, and then I did Metroid Dread, because I wanted both. I wanted to do both. Like, obviously Metroid Dread, because I love the game, but then I'm like, well, I can't do a, a nighttime stream in October and not do Pumpkin Jack. So I did both games. Like, not back-to-back. -back. I think I took, like, an hour break. I did one at, like, 6 o'clock, like, ate dinner or whatever, came back at 8 o'clock for the Metroid Dread stream. And that was a fun night. I don't really do double streams anymore. I used to do more of them, I, especially, like, during the winter if it snowed a lot or something and I wasn't going out. I would do, like, you know, I'd do a stream in the morning, then maybe do some stuff and do another stream at night. I have not done a double stream in a long time. Metroid Prime Remastered, I have not. And it's been a long time since i played that game, and I would not mind getting back into that, especially with Metroid Prime 4 coming out, even though that's the fourth game in the series, not the second, but... Uh, I've never really played them, so I can't really say if I have access to them. Sure. I don't know if those games are, like, that complete, where I would do a whole stream of them. But I could definitely see that as a, uh, what do you call it, a contestant on Retromania, because I think those are both free on Game Pass, so free I'll put anything on there. That's what I mean, there's just too many choices. Like, if you, besides the obvious ones, yeah, you could consider Psychonauts, you could consider some of the games that just have Halloween-like elements in them. Oh, here comes a death. This is Rem Share Apart. The Great Jack has failed his mission 170 times. I mean, that is funny music, don't get me wrong choices. That's the thing. Yeah, there's a lot of choices. And there's there's some other games I want to get on here that haven't been on here before for Halloween games. Another game that I consider a Halloween game, even though it's really not, is Alice Madness Returns, which actually is just a fun game in general. I want to get back to that game, so I might count that as a Halloween stream, even though it's not really a Halloween game. It's just, it's got that creepy vibe to it. I freaking love that game, Alice Madness Returns. I'm, well, it's on Xbox 360, but I have it on Series S. Yeah, I'm excited. I mean, like I said, it's the first month. Not first month. It's the first day of the month. It's the first day of October. Um, I'm still working on the fucking birthday bash video, by the way. Like that, that's one of the reasons I didn't stream last night. I spent a long time working on that. Ouch. Alright, time to die. Uh, I got a lot of stuff that I'm working on behind the scenes and also streaming. Like, like, like it's so important, but you do play Kingdom Hearts. I think I actually am, believe it or not, and I have to check that out. I think I am up to the Nightmare Before Christmas level. I might have just passed it, or I might have just gotten to it, but I think I am at that, because I remember playing that game know, two years ago, whatever it was, in Kingdom Hearts 1, and I think that was the last place we ended up, was Jack Skeleton's place. Or Kingdom Farts, as it is otherwise known. 
But again, that that's a great idea. I'm not saying it's not, but you know, that just keep in mind we only have so many streams to do. Like, for Halloween, so I don't want to just burn them all on, like, well, you know, I'm going to play, like, an hour of Kingdom Hearts. Like, I mean, yeah, we could. Definitely could. Not saying we can't. Oh, this part's tough. Because I think if you lean out of the cart too far, you die. You get harder as you go. It's almost like a video game or something. Whoa! I love the way he jumps out of the cart. Like, he literally, his legs just fly out of the cart. Defeat Ui. Is he really a boss? See, you just fall down for me. I didn't know he was a boss in that game. Like, I, I guess that makes sense. I honestly didn't know King, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas was in... Kingdom Hearts, because you never hear about it. Like, you know Aladdin's in it, and Lion King, and Little Mermaid, and all those? You never hear about Nightmare Before Christmas being in, like, Kingdom Hearts. I mean, I'm not surprised it is, but I just never really, like... Like, being friends with Jeff, like, I, I know, like, almost everything about the game without even playing it, but I never hear him talk about the Nightmare Before Christmas part. Unless he was trying to keep that a surprise for me or something, but I don't know why he would. But, yeah, I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it's in there, and that Oogie Boogie would be the boss of it. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, if I get to it, I'm not going to make a special point of it, but even I don't know why I play some games I play. All I know is it's October 1st. I'm playing Pumpkin Jack. We got some great people here tonight, and it is getting to be nighttime. It's getting dark outside. We got some cool Halloween lights in the room behind me. Not quite the level of Christmas Central or anything like that, but I'd like to think I do a decent job with my Halloween setup, what little of it there is. There you go. Can't really see it behind me, but I replaced my... Um, not replaced, but I changed out my Sonic Adventure figure with a pumpkin here. Actually, I can show that real quick. This is a uh, m and pumpkin. Looks very petrified. Hey, yo. What a great Christmas game. What, this? <laughs> What's funny is... Well, I guess that's spoilers to the final boss of this game. I won't say it. Yes, what a great Christmas game indeed. What do both have a Halloween touch? Second one, the quest. You're very chaotic. I really am very chaotic like that. And that's just what I do. I mean, same thing with Christmas, too. There's a lot of games I want to get to for Christmas. There's not enough time. But you know what I do? I have fun with what I do while I'm doing it. That's, I know it sounds cliche and kind of stupid and very stupid, but that's it. You know, I, I'm not, you know, not listening to your suggestions. I just don't know, like, how much time I'm going to have to get to them. Oh, is this a boss fight? I think you end up fighting this guy. It's you again. Come to browse some more of my fabulous skins. Oh, that's right. You can actually buy costumes in this game and stuff. Why? They're literally people's skins. Oh, that's disgusting. I know. It's creepy. Yes. Thank you, Pumpkin Jack. I agree with you on that. Well, thank you. Because, that, like I said, some of these games we're going to play are not, not random, but they're, they're kind of like, yeah, you better like me because you might not like the game. That's all I'm going to say. If digging up corpses and intricately peeling off their skins to sell his costumes is creepy, then I guess I'm creepy. You really are. Eggbert. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Just buy something or go away. God damn it, I want to buy something. Oh, this whole time I've actually been... Alright, we're going to watch the thing that we just saw in the game we're playing. Like, Rem did that too, and I'm like, you guys realize I'm playing the game right now. Alright, here's something from the game we're playing right now. This whole time I was, um... If I was wearing a... Ooh, the skeleton. That could be creepy. If I was wearing a freaking costume. Ooh, I like the buzzard, but I don't have enough for it. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with the cowboy. I'm a cowboy. And that was kind of pointless. That's better. Brr. I did the little ooh at the end. Ooh, enemies! Yeah, after this, like, I don't know how long this level is, or maybe I'll quit out at some point, but we'll pick another level of this epic game, as it were. What is my inventory? I got a gun, I got this thing. A sword. That's Mr. Magical Talking Sword to you, young people. Alright, this thing's already gonna annoy me. Everything catches fire in this game! I wasn't kidding! Holy shit, I just set the entire level on fire. Fire's not good when you're basically a scarecrow with a pumpkin head. I think that's what it's supposed to be, I don't know. So far, there's been no sequel to this game. I'm Sheriff Woody. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Ooh. That seemed a little off to me, but all right. seem off to anyone else. It seemed a little different to me. I don't know why. I can't put my finger on it. But it just didn't seem like the shark's usual behavior. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there, man. 
Hey, what's going on, Scarecrow? We were just talking about crows. There's a lot of crows in this game. Play some pumpkin jack. I do enjoy what the fuck. <laughs> I gotta have a little fun with it. Uh, everything catches fire in this game. Why? I'm sure there's a reason for it, but no. Hey, crow. Yeah, we were just talking about medieval. Is it? No, it's pronounced medieval or just like medieval, but you just say the evil part more. All right, cutscene. Ooh. <laughs> oh, here goes. Heed this second warning, Jack, for there will be no third. 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 Turn back while you still can, can. I love how every time Pumpkin Jack talks, he says, Rawr. Oh, all right. I thought he was going to talk again so that I could hear him go, Rawr. Leave me alone. Rawr, I'm a pumpkin. My name's Jack. I think I remembered who Pumpkin Jack was. It was a pumpkin. His name was Jack. The music just like picked up. It's like some deadly property. I do enjoy Pumpkin Jeff. Yes, Jeff. How is Jeff doing, by the way? I, I know like he's on his server and stuff. I, I don't see him a lot. I don't, well, I don't see him in there anymore, but I know, he doesn't seem to be doing well. But hopefully, I'm wrong on that. Because Jeff's a good guy and he deserves to have some good times, especially this time of year. But really, all the times of the year. Hold your horses, Jack. It actually makes you go into kind of a slow, like, walking motion for these parts. Oh, I almost slipped off. For the record, that ghost bozo really creeps me out. Okay. That was just distracting. I almost wish I could use my double jump here. PlayStation. Oh, nice. At least he's doing something. He's playing. I think he'd really like Astrobot, by the way. I don't know if he has PS5. Uh, no, he has PS5. I don't know if he would like it. I think he'd like it. Look, I don't know if he'd like it, but I think he'd like it. Hey, yo. That was like a secret option away to go. <laughs> what was Jeff doing? Playing games on PlayStation. Three people did you kill to get those skulls? It's probably best if we don't know. Photoshop. No, you know who made them? Uh, what, what was her name? Alyssa Raven or something. The, the, the bot that tried to hit me up at the beginning. New checkpoint. Ah, crap. I gotta do one of these little head things again. Right, I'll do like one more of these. I, I don't really like these. You take off your head and then you have to play these little like puzzle games where you push this little ball around with your disembodied head. It's a little creepy for a kid's game, or at least I think this is a kid's game. I can't get a good handle on it. I do. We were just talking about that. Yes, Medieval is a pretty great, I don't want to say great game, but it's a good Halloween game. May or may not see it again, although it sounds like my PlayStation Plus won't allow me, so that could be out. Oh, I almost died there. <laughs> I do. I don't think that. I think that. Ooh, oh, no, 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 no! Oh, I saved it! Oh, no, 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 Oh, that was terrifying. Okay, how do I get to the next part here? I gotta get that switch, 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 switch. Whoa, 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 no! Okay, I thought that was gonna kill me. Why didn't that kill me? It has graphics and get... Dude, I thought you liked this game! I mean, again, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's a 10 out of 10 game. I think it's like a six and a half at best, but you know what? It's our six and a half game, damn it. Oh no! Would you accept a gift from a humble Norwegian? Oh, time for Phantom Drexler again. YOLO. Where'd I put that damn mask? I wanna get a damn Happy Meal. <sighs> humble, I, I don't know what to tell you about that. What, what, what would be the gift? And no, I'm not giving you the Pac-Man mask, so stop asking. Or Pac-Man mask. Pac-Man doll. Whatever it is. Although you probably would accept a Pac-Man mask. Toaster has a Pac-Man mask. Or Pac-Man costume. Speaking of masks. Got the Spider-Man mask like you asked. Alright, time for this nonsense again. 
What if I would buy you a PlayStation points card so you can buy it? I feel like that's a lot of work to go to just for me to play a game that, you know, we both know I'm only going to play like once. Actually, this, yeah, this does kind of look like Doctor Doom. But believe it or not, this is a semi-original character from one of my movies named Phantom Drexler. That I will wear this mask for five minutes. I mean, if you really want to buy me a PlayStation points card so that I can buy a game that I'll probably play once for like two hours at the most, and then not touch again until next October, then you go for it, man. You're still not getting the Pac-Man thing. And now I gotta do this really frustrating part while I'm finding it hard to see right now. That's all right, I like this. Also, stay tuned all month, because I will be doing other costumes and other, other masks during the streams. Sounds like Shad's. What, it sounds like Shad's to buy somebody a PlayStation points card to play a retro game that he may or may not play for more than, like, one time? Well, again, I appreciate that. I mean, if it's only, like, a little bit of money... If it's only a little bit of money, like, fine. But if it's, like, 50 bucks, no. Okay, hold on. Yeah, see, that's the problem, is I have to... I hit the switch to lower this part. Now I got no way to get over there. Because this jump is freaking jank. God damn it again. Where am I now? Okay, here. I, again, my, my visibility isn't like... I can still see, but it's it's a little, a little tough. Can I? Can I have the Pac-Man doll? You cannot. I'll tell you what you can have. A good night. Gotta be a way around this. That is not it. Can I have this delicious sandwich? Yes. Can Squidward have this delicious sandwich? No. I feel like they heard me. Is the mask just muffling my voice? I got myself in quite a situation here. God damn it again. Hey there, Toaster. If you would steal the Pac-Man. You assume that if he steals the Pac-Man, he's going to send it to you. Sorry, sorry. Why does everyone want this Pac-Man so bad anyway? It's some random thing I got in a crane game like years ago. I was never thinking like it was this valuable item. Maybe it is. Maybe, like, you guys know something I don't. Maybe I'll go online and find out it's worth, like, a thousand dollars or something, because they only made, like, ten of them. I don't know. Like, the most expensive Pac-Man plush of all. Alright, well, I guess I know I'm gonna have to lock up the Pac-Man next time I have a party. That's right, lock up the Pac-Man, because freaking Toaster's gonna steal it. Okay, I got nothing. I don't know what to do here. I know I have to lower that platform. Well, hold on, hold on. I think I have an idea. Maybe there's another switch past this. You know the Pac-Man? Uh, I don't have one that makes noises. I have one that... It's from Retromania. I, I guess I could get it. <laughs> We're already kind of just pushing it as it is. There you go. say I'm clearly not going to get much gameplay done like this. The remote is tiny. This is not the one you're talking about, but I have this guy that we've seen during various Retromanias, and it's got Pac-Man and the Ghost. It doesn't make any noise or anything, but it, it does, it can flicker, it can do some stuff. It's not, it, it's pretty cool. I got this set at FYE once. Got a few different settings. Usually you can be seen in the background on Retropolis. Actually, it's kind of cool here. There's a ghost. Yeah, I know. Uh, you're right. Yeah, there's only three. I think they could only hit four figures on the thing, so they just put Pac-Man and three ghosts on here. More right now. Yeah, I almost wish I had somewhere I could set this for like the whole stream. I kind of like that. That's a nice aesthetic for like the bottom, but I don't have anything on here that I could just put this up on. I don't know, who cares? It's a fucking Pac-Man thing. Anyway. I'm also just killing time while I wear this stupid mask or whatever, because I really can't play the game like this. As you know, I'm very determined to make progress in this game that I already beat. But seriously, how am I supposed to get this? Okay, there's the next switch. I will die there. Okay, what did that do? I imagine I don't like these parts. Oh my god, that, that completely was useless. 
Is there a way to shoot like a no, there's no way to do this. Nope, I can't jump up there fast enough. Wait, no, no, no! Uh, on the bright side, the time's almost up on this thing. There you go. Oh, damn it, I feel like I should be able to make that jump. Just jump around it. It's like no matter what you do, well, speaking of that, this is coming off. There you go. More, right now. Look at that zero just stays on the screen. Kind of like the time that it uh, froze at a minute 20. Oh, there it goes. All right. Oh, come on, I was on that. I feel like that's not the way you're supposed to go around on this, but whatever. Try one or two. Got it. See, I don't think that's what you're supposed to do, but that's what I'm gonna do. So dumb. I don't even remember what this has to do with the main game. You just have to like push this bomb or whatever. It ain't a bomb factory. It's a bomb. You have to push this to a certain point. Shit. No, 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 no. Oh, it went down the tubes. Now I gotta start over again. God damn it. My disappointment is immeasurable. Man, it's alright. I remember, like, what were the good parts of this game, and there were some good parts, but I don't remember, like, levels and stuff. Like, I'm not like, oh, yeah, this is the part with that part. Like, I remember a couple bosses that were kind of decent. I actually thought the ending was decent, like, the last level, but, you know, I don't want to just rush through that. I don't know, it probably took me, like, close to 20 hours to beat this game, but that's also because I played it so slowly and messed up a crap ton of times. Do what I did last time. Get this. Try and get. Okay, it's actually not that hard to jump to make. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Oh, hold on, hold on. I think I know what to do. Leave this like on this part. Of course, it's always gonna purposely go to the wrong, worst spot. Can I just push it? Do I have to like smack it a million miles across the screen? All right, here's an idea. Tell I'm really not that invested here. Fuck that. It's like it literally, I'm trying to get it to stay on this little plank. And like, if you hit it at all, it's going to go way over it. I don't know. That might count. Let's see. Because if you go up higher here, I think there's a switch that raises that drawbridge. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just making this shit up. I don't know. I'll find out. Someday. Oh, shit. Was that it there? This as far as I can. Oh, god damn it. Okay, there we go. I think Medieval is one of those games you can play. Yeah, no, I know. You really pushing the Medieval tonight. I mean, there's a few games like that. Bayonetta is another one that I've played for Halloween, but also played it in general. Alright, I'm getting tired of this. Let's just pick another level. Something that lets me. I hope it lets me. Okay, good. Yeah, I can just pick it up. But yeah, Medieval, I know, is not a strictly Halloween game, just like a lot of these games aren't. I don't let it. He really won't. Now I almost don't want to play it, because now I'm like, alright, this is really all you got? Like, I mean, alright, Bobanetta. I don't know why I find that funny. It's a very simple translation of my name into Bayonetta. Shad should play it. I don't remember the last time Shad's, like, streamed. What do you mind? We got Skeletown. Easy ways you want to monsters. We got the Spooky Cemetery. Actually, that level took forever. Oh, that's not really all the levels in the game, but I remember the North. So, oh, there really are not that many levels in this game, then. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, I guess we could do the Cursed Swamp, then. Let me get in, really, I'm not getting it. You guys realize you could probably just look it up online. It's probably like 20 bucks. Like, it really is not that important. Hey, yo! Oh. We'll play it out, oh, god damn it. I didn't mean to say I will never play it, I'm just saying. Like, it's Great not like Jack. my first Master choice. I Finally just enjoy the pumpkin jack. Why can't I get it? Upon I feel like the only reason you wanted it is because it's become this whole meme Master now. Well, you don't even like Pac Man. You routinely said, like, oh, Bobby likes Pac Man, that's stupid. Like, now all of a sudden you're this big Pac Man fan? Yeah, because everyone else wants a thing. 
one step closer hey, to usurping the devil's rule over the world. Once his hand heals, it's perfect. Heroes. Well, you hang in there, man. Your hand's gonna heal in due time. I'm still waiting for Randy to show up for this awesome uh, pumpkin jack madness. Or jackness. Who vows to teach him greater mastery of the deadly. I do enjoy unconventional Halloween games. Ray okay. I have Rayman too. Actually, I have it on Dreamcast, and I think I have it some other way as well. All right, you need that plus your cat. Nah, I don't really get that one, but all right. More right now. I like how the, the level even looks a little more here. If you're being fair about it, I was the first one. I was going to say, Shads actually wants a stupid thing for some reason. Like... Um, what do you call it? Toaster's just like trend chasing, if you can call it that. The mansion from. Yep! Uh, I mean, you're making some good points, and don't be surprised if we see some of that stuff in Retromania 70, because that is going to be a Halloween episode. So, I mean, yeah, I'm very aware of, like, haunted levels and games and stuff. You really did. And I still gotta give you that Pokeball, which I do plan to give you. What would you rather have, the Pokeball or the Pac-Man? Actually, I'd rather have the Pac-Man. I gave him friendship and, yeah, I mean, you did do that. Cat in Time had a Haunted Area too. Isn't there a Haunted Level in Banjo-Kazooie? So you guys just want me to play every game that I've ever played and just play the haunted level in them. Eight, seven, six. Jack, I am your superior and you will treat me with risk. Four, three, two. All right, all right. You're Lucifer, you're a rambunctious little twerp. Muppets. I do enjoy the Muppets. I mean, just in general. And I don't know how that relates to Halloween. I find Toaster doing that. Alright, that. Ah, oh, this part's tough. I think those things, if they hit you, are instant kill. Because I just casually walk through them. Muppet Monster Adventure? There's a game called Muppet Monster Adventure? Okay, that might have to be... I might have to take a look at that. If for nothing else, maybe a Retromania. I mean, I've already got a pretty decent list of Halloween type of games I plan to look at, but I'm not, you know, I'm definitely going to try and do what I can here. It's like Spyro, but with Muppets. I played Gax a little bit. I mean, now we're getting into some, like, not random, but, like, territory I really don't play. Like, I don't play PS1 games that much. I have a PS2 that can play them, but you would know that. God damn it, all right, fine, I failed. Ouch, ouch. Well, at least I know that's not one-hit kill anymore. Ouch. I thought Gex was boring. I never really played Gex. I mean, I played a little bit. That and Croc kind of the same family of, like, okay 3D platformers. God damn it, everything really is catching on fire. Ouch! More, right now. Croc is just, wow, I see yeah, it. I was actually going to give the Croc Remix a chance, because I heard those were good games, but... Croc... Let's play every game with a Halloween. You know what's a, a game probably no one really knows? It was... I think it only came out on Saturn. It's called Dem Bones. It's a game where you play as a skeleton, and it's like a 2D platformer type of deal. I've always kind of wanted to play that game. I don't know if it came out on PS1. It came out on Saturn. What's my favorite customer? What are you talking about? I can't stand you. And I don't have any other customers. See that problem here? You're lucky your work is so good. As we have an argument raging in the chat. All right, I don't want to buy another costume right now. Voodoo Vince. You guys are hitting me with too many titles. You know I'm never going to get to any of these, but I appreciate the idea. More right now. Holy 
this shit that wow all right you got some, some big trauma going on here uh. i gotta say i never like talk croc i mean i i'm pretty neutral with croc there's a lot of games that came out in that era that i think are just okay like i don't think like i don't know i never had like a big opinion on it either way but man crow's just digging in there like uh. crow's just like yeah game's awful God damn it, enemies. Unrelenting number of them, too. Hey, yo. They fixed the controls. Well, yeah, a lot of PS1 era platformers had kind of messy controls. I'm not going to deny that. But as somebody who grew up in that era, I'd probably be able to handle it. Saying that makes it better or not, but it just it is what it is. Oh yeah, this is this is just what I needed. Okay. See, I can't see a 3D platformer having tank controls. I mean, some maybe, but Croc seems like a very nimble character. Like it's not like he's like a Wreck It Ralph type of character where. He would just plow through the levels. I'm gonna die. Yep. Good thing the boss's hitboxes are shit. You've died 171 times. It's a new record. Like Tomb Raider. I had, I played a little PS1 Tomb Raider. Yeah, she was a little tanky. Hey, yo. I love when the music comes back. That is kind of cool. Well, ding. Yeah, that was a fun little death. The fact left and right. I blame hormones. I'm gonna leave that one alone. The fact left and right turn you put in midair side step is the whole game. The whole game is shitsy. Uh, I'm saying out of I don't know anything about Croc. Like I I've heard they're okay games. I'm not gonna get into it. It's not like this is not the hill I die on for Croc. Sorry to all you Croc fans out there. I'm sure it's an okay game. That's the best I can give you. As far as an endorsement of it, Sonic Spinball. Yeah, it's probably like a Sonic Spinball of 3D platformers. Like, it's okay, you don't want to keep playing it, but whatever. I love this. Toys R Us just goes, uh, Sonic Spinball, then goes into that dance. It's kind of like finish. Like, Sonic Spinball. Kind of get shot by these stupid things. I just told you I'd get shot by them now. Is so Wait, oh, Tonic Trouble. I think I've heard of that game. I thought you meant Sonic Triple Trouble for a second. I'm getting fast this right now. I need some health. I think I actually get health for destroying this thing. I really do. Sonic Spinball Toaster disappears. Say, hey, oh. Yeah, he's disappearing to go play some Sonic Spinball, y'all. Yeah, I do remember that from the last WrestleMania. We all voted for it just just because we felt bad, and then I play it, and he's gone. They'll pre-order you the game for you. Oh, he'll do it too. I think there's a part where you drive a very clumsy boat coming up here. Again, like even though I play this game, and I probably have like 30 or 40 hours in this game all together. Even though I played that much of this game, I don't really remember a lot of it. It all kind of blurs together. It's all like these Halloween forest-looking levels. This is my swamp. Get out of my swamp, donkey. You take over Crow's account. Hey, yo. Oh. Okay, that was glitchy as hell. Just like shoot that thing and then a bridge falls or whatever. Hey, yo. Oh. I am human beam. Oh, is there something like in there? Isn't that already? Well, was that like already over here? Because this this asshole selling costumes was here. Well, well, a new face, always a pleasant. Ah, oh, that was a different douchebag. Actually, this I think this guy's a boss. This and his weird-looking wife, I think, are the bosses of this area. I'm a local merchant. My name is. I haven't asked you your name, and I don't plan on caring. Uh, all right. Well, then, who are you? My name is Jack. I'm tracking a loathsome little wizard into this swamp. Did you say Jack as in THE Jack? That depends which Jack you mean. The Jack who tricked the devil himself not once, not twice, but three times? 
Huh, most people leave out the third time. Yes, old timer, I am B Jack. Does it you play any I mean hey, it was a retromania. You guys can vote for whatever you want. I'm not playing it for any one or two people. It's it's the will of the people. It's the voice of the people. So I went along with it and I thought it worked out fine. Oh joyous day, hooray, she'll be so happy. What are you talking about, you old coot? Oh nothing really. I just have something to attend to around here. Please find me again along the way. I believe I can help you. Very well, anything for a fan. Alright. Start hitting everything around. Ouch! You ever see the Shrek movie? No, I've not. I'm sure that's not a good game, but I am somewhat interested. Am I the only one? I mean, I don't trust him because I've already played this game and I know he ends up being a bad guy. Plus, there aren't that many characters in this game and most of them are bad guys. There's really not anyone you meet in this game that tries to help you as far as I can remember. It's basically just you against the world and maybe the merchant. The merchant's just neutral because he wants money. I love money, yay! Reaction to Toaster. I don't, I don't know that Toaster actually likes Sonic Screwball all that much. I think he just keeps bringing it up for some reason. Wait, what is Open World Sonic Shrek? I mean, I thought Sonic Frontiers was that, but alright, I guess that is now. Okay, where are these all coming from? This has to stop now. I like how this is supposed to be like kind of a challenge or whatever, but you can still see like the majority of the like platform. It's not disappeared, it's very much right there. Oh no! Oh, okay, I thought that was gonna be a death. He runs, I do enjoy insanely fast running track. I'm trying to picture that right now, and it's really kind of amusing. I can see Donkey being a little fast if you play as him, but... Then the open world part's kind of getting me too. Watch out. Hey, y'all, I just beat him from a really weird angle. Ooh! Okay, hold on. Big Mac asks me this question all the time for Pumpkin. I think it's Cubus, which means he'd be Cubus Jack. Or just Pumpkin Jack if we're going to be technical and so you don't translate the names of characters. But I believe a pumpkin is Corbus, because he's he's asked me for pumpkin a lot, and I always forget it. So I made sure to try to remember it. Shrek loves chili. I mean, Shrek probably does love chili dogs, but Shrek also just loves food in general. Four-player co-op game? Well, I'm glad they at least tried with the Shrek game. God damn it, I really am dead again. Waiting for the, uh, whatever. Waiting for the, there we go. That's what I was waiting for. I was waiting for the game to come back. I'm like, where's my game? My Diet Dr. Kelp? Don't tell me you got this stream without my game. Haven't you ever once thought of the customer? Look at that enemy just sits there and lets me shoot him twice. Dead. Ugh. Oh, this is an awkward jump ball. Enemies. Dead. Alright, well, what do you like better, uh, I guess Zero or Shad's, um, Croc or Medieval? Castle, I love Crash, Crash, Castle Crashers, I had that game. It's not really a Halloween game, though, but then again, I don't know that we're talking about Halloween games anymore. Okay, what, what, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Just jump on these boats? Boats over troubled waters? There we go. Checkpoint. That's better. Ah, oh, yes. More right now. Medieval. See, I've like not gotten that far in medieval. Like I played it a number of times, but I feel like I've been to maybe like three levels, four maybe. Oh no! I just walk right into my death. The Great Jack has failed his mission 173 times. For some reason, this is like everyone's favorite part of the game is when I fail. Croc 2 is a lot improved from Croc 1. Well, hopefully with the remakes, they just make it whatever the best one was. They just give it that engine or whatever. I don't know. Kind of like how all the Crash games controlled the same when they did the remake. And they all controlled very well. In said remake. Oh. 
see, that's what I think a remake is a good thing. Like, you know, with the Crash games, which were great games, but, like, you know, they had some issues with, like, the kind of janky controls at times and all that. Or Croc, like, early 3D platformers. Like, I think they can do, like, you know, more with that. Like, I'm not against remakes of those games. I'm against when they do, like, a remake from a game from, like, five years ago, and I'm like, why did we need this? Even ten years ago is kind of pushing it. But, like, a game like Croc or, you know, original Spyro like they did or, um... Original Crash, like, I could see that. PS1's, like, old enough where, you know, you'd want to see a remake of it. Or even, like, Dreamcast or N64, like... But, like, we need a remake of, like, a game that just came out of, like, Wii U or something. Like, I, I get that's an older console, but, like, do we need remakes of those games yet or at all? Like, some games don't need to get remade. The only other exception I make that are, like, newer games... Well, newer-ish. Are, like, Wii games, like, kind of like, um... Epic Mickey, and the only reason I say that game is because the, I think the motion controls do kind of make it hard to play. It's a little annoying, like, even if you own the original game, it's just not that accessible. So I can see why that got a remake, besides the visuals. Yeah, Horizons, making a remake of Horizons, which I know they already are. I'm like, why? That's what I mean. That's when it's a waste. Like, I'll make some exceptions to that rule, but in general, I don't think you need a remake of, like, 90% of games. I think there are some games that could benefit from a remake. Not just platformers, but just a, a lot of games could do a remake. But not every game, and not every game from the last, like, five or ten years. Why would you? Exactly! Last of Us twice, yep. And I don't think any, well, maybe the PS3 one wasn't the best looking game, but I mean, it's not like it looks like crap either. I don't know. I guess with the Last of Us games, maybe they just wanted them all on one platform. Like, because the new one was coming out on PS4 at the time, I think. P2 needs a remake. I think she was thinking about picking up Epic, Epic Mickey 2 on uh, PS3. Cause like I said, I don't mind the gameplay of Epic Mickey. I just hate the motion controls on the Wii. It just makes it, like, really annoying to do a simple thing. I'm like, oh, the thing I need is right over there, but I have to sit here and hold the Wii mode over here and try to aim at it this way. Yeah, that's right. It's on Xbox 360 as well. But I do have a PS3, so it's almost like if there's a game I don't own already and it's on Xbox 360 or PS3, it's like, well, I have a PS3. I mean, I have a 362, but I have, like, a million Xbox 360 games. So if I want to add to my PS3 collection, I'd probably just pick that. Last of Us 2 at the reception. Eh, that's what I heard as well, but... Give them a few years. Like, whenever Last of Us 3 comes out, which, if, assuming it comes out on maybe PS6, dare I say it, maybe they'll put it out again, just so that it's like, oh, look, they're all on the one console. Because that, that's what I think it's about. I think they want to get, like, all of them on one console, whatever that console happens to be at the time. So that if you want to, you can play the first Last of Us on whatever the new hardware is. And then you can play the new one. I don't know. I don't know. I have no- I, I vaguely remember this part of the Pumpkin Jack story, by the way. I don't think it's all that significant, but we'll see. Do go on. We've been married for 343 years, but she's always adored your tales. We've spent many nights discussing your feats of malice and trickery. She's a powerful witch, capitalized, and I'm out here collecting ingredients for her greatest concoction. A witch? Hmm, I could use her. This wizard is powerful and smart. I need her information. I'm sure she'd love to help, but I need to get her ingredients first. It's good if you missed out on... Yeah, again, I'm not trying to, like, knock remakes or remasters or whatever. Ah. I, I, I talk about it a lot. Not, not just about these games, but just, like... I right. Remake of the graphics and Engine of Horizon 2. I do a PS4 remake of... Oh, well, that's not bad. It's just only $10. I'm not saying it... Uh, I don't know. So I go back and forth on it. Why must I pick up your errands? Why can't you just tell me where she is? Only my horse can take you to her. Find the mushroom. Oh, I remember this part. Yeah, find stupid mushrooms. Or whatever. These mushrooms will get me right back in the race. My dream remake would be Sonic Adventure on Dreamcast remade in 4K with like everything. I mean, obviously, if they did Sonic Adventure one and two, but if I could only pick one, I would say Sonic Adventure one because I think that game would look really great in like modern graphics with a modern engine, Emerald Coast, Speed Highway. That whole story redone. I mean, they could even change the voice actors, although I love the original voice cast, but that game would be fantastic. I, I, like, I always get on Sega for remaking things, but if they did it right and they didn't just take the original Dreamcast game and kind of put a little shine on it, like, if they did it right and they really built it from the ground up, I think it would be fantastic. But I don't think they'll ever do it. If they do it, it'll just be the original game, like, upscaled a little bit. Which, they've, they've done that. They've re-released Sonic Adventure on modern platforms with nothing added to it. Yo, yeah, I love when they add new stuff. 
I mean, they couldn't even remaster Sonic Colors right. I don't really see them remastering the original Sonic Adventure. Yeah, Sonic Generation showed the potential of a modern Sonic Adventure with, like, you know, what those levels would look like on yeah, newer hardware. But I would want, like, the whole game. And not necessarily with those super boosts or whatever, but, like, I wouldn't mind the old-style Sonic Adventure gameplay. Sonic, yes, actually. I'm actually pretty excited for Sonic uh, Shadow Generations. I'll probably play the Sonic part a little bit, but uh, more for the Shadow Generations part. It legitimately looks like a new game at that point. And they're bringing back some levels that they don't bring back a million times. Like, I'm okay with some references, especially for, like, stuff like Final Rush or whatever, but... Yeah, like, we've seen Sonic levels, like, so many times. Like, you know, Green Hill, Chemical Plant. We've seen all the classic Sonic levels. We never see classic Shadow levels, and that's what we're gonna get here. Uh, I have not, I have not yet seen Dark Beginnings. I keep saying I'm gonna watch it. I heard it's really good. Which, again, surprises me. Sega's just coming out of nowhere with, like, high-quality media. Like, that is not the Sega I know. The Sega I know will remake the crap out of everything and not really give a crap about their new stuff. So I am shocked, even though they are referencing an old game. I'm shocked that they are putting this much effort into this. Speaking of which, where is that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? It'd be kind of funny if they brought that game back into Shadow Generations and had him say that line. Because this, this is from, like, I think the circus level. Where... Uh, Where's that damn fourth Chaos Emerald? Oh, that was weird. Yeah, like, they give, they're giving him abilities he never even had with those Doom powers. And, I mean, he had Chaos Control, but you can never use it in the game, really, except for Shadow, like, on GameCube, which didn't really do much. Yep, the wings, the, the Doom Surf. I mean, there's a lot. I don't understand why levels from Sonic... Well, well, at least one level from Sonic Frontiers is in it. Like, oh yeah, remember when Shadow was in Sonic Frontiers? I don't. But, hey, whatever. I guess they're not really following the rules of this having to take place during Sonic Generations if they're having levels from Sonic Forces and uh, Frontiers in there. Oh, no! Oh, okay, that was going to kill me. It just mildly inconvenienced me. But yeah, Shadow Generations is going to be the next kind of modern game that I'm into. He should have been. I mean, what, what would the difference really have been? But they had, like... I was going to say they had no playable characters, but technically the Final Horizon does let you play as Tails, Knuckles, and Amy, whether you want to or not. Which I did want to until I played it. How am I supposed to get out of this area? I feel like I landed on kind of this secluded island. All right, never mind. It's just as easy as making that jump. Or jumping right now. But I took too long there. I didn't want that wear off. Alright. I said I took too long. There we go. Yeehaw to the top. Alright. Watch out. Ooh, that was close. Alright, yeah. I don't know which way to go here. I think I go this way. Wow. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh no, everything's catching on fire! I don't like this game to catch everything on fire. Ugh. Watch out. Watch out. Hey, oh. Mushroom. Yippee ki yay. Oh no, it's another pumpkin head challenge. I don't know why I hate those sounds. That's better. It's alright. More Halloween action. Alright, time to turn my head into a ball and see what happens. Ooh, this. Alright. I'm sorry, what? Jazz wings? Oh, I see. Ah, oh, no, a puzzle. Ah, oh, it's awful. I don't even know how to get out of this part if I want to. You know what I loved in Astrobot when you're in the balloons and the balloon level? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hit the mushroom more than once. One, two, three.
guys are awful. Well, wait a minute. Got it. There's another one like that with like tombstones. Like I really don't like these things. It's not that hard, but I, there's another one with tombstones where you have to hit the tombstones in a certain order. That's what I figured, but then I also realized it's just following the pattern of the song. It's like dun 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 dun. So even if I didn't really remember the pattern, I just remember what the sound they made. All that just to get to that one thing. Just perfect, Jack. Bring it to me now. Oh, portal. That's convenient. Wow, it's bright. Aha, this is superb. I haven't seen a mushroom this well grown in decades. Thank you, Jack. Truly, your legend doesn't live up to your glory. Yes, yes, I'm amazing. Now make with the horse. Oh, certainly. He knows the way. Oh, this part sucks. This is the part I think of. Yeah, this part sucks. Right, so. Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is like all one-hit kills. Like, oh sure, it starts fun enough. Oh no, okay, you, you can take a hit. These post things. But yeah, it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Maybe I'll be better at it, because it's been a while, and I've seen it before. But first few times I played this, I was just like, hey, That's where it starts getting pretty crazy. Oh. What's funny is this game still has less poppin' than Sonic Frontiers. Like, there's poppin' when stuff's like coming around the corner, but I mean like, yeah, graphics are lousy, but you know what? I'm not getting like stuff popping in right in front of me. in a budget like one tenth that of Sonic Frontiers. Also not like it's running here fast either. threw me about this the first time is I kept jumping when I didn't have to. Like, he just runs in this plane above the whole thing. And apparently there's just a convenient finish line there. Okay, I died so many times the first time I did this. I'm surprised I didn't die once there. You retired from screaming last year to be down the boss of Sonic Frontiers. Well, see, I already did that, so I don't know why I would do that again, because I already beat him. His health went down to zero. So, if anything, I should beat something I haven't beaten before, because that would make more sense. I already got a health down to zero. That's kind of the end of the boss. Fortunately, you know, that's just how it goes. Enemies. Ouch. Ooh, that was close. trying to make you retire. Apparently, yeah, I don't know. I didn't think I was that old. I thought I had a few more good years left for me, but I guess that's going to be it. Ah. He just wants to see me beat that boss again. Watch your Germans. Vistasso? <laughs> Warum? Ich wusste nicht, dass ich ein Deutsch. Oh, I can't fucking say it. <laughs> I didn't know I had a German audience. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh no! Oh, I'm dead again. But would you retire? No, I haven't because I don't think about retiring, and if it ever happens, it'll just be me stopping streaming. I won't hype it up as this big thing because that would be too sad for me and be like, all right, guys, this is the last one. Oh, God. And, like, I wouldn't even be able to focus on anything. Like, 
My last stream will probably be like a lot of things. Like, you know how there's like a last episode of a show, but it's some random episode that you don't really think about? Like, I'm not gonna know what it is. I'm not gonna be like, all right, guys, we're gonna play this game one last time, and then I'm gonna just be alive forever and not stream during it, but. You know, because I don't know what the future holds. Like, I would never commit to a retiring like that. Like, I might take a long break from streaming at some point, but I'm never going to be like, all right, guys, for the rest of my life, this is it. No more streaming. Like, no, I'm not going to say that. So that's why I don't really have, like, a final stream plan, because I don't know if it would even be the final one. It might be the final one for now, but, like, I don't know that I would ever just do that. I mean, I don't know. Fuck, I'm 35. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I did that with Retro 50. I actually had a lot of fun with that. I love making clip shows. And Retro 100 will probably have that same element of, you know, nostalgia. I do enjoy Retro Mania 1248. Yeah, it can be hard to top it after a certain point. I still think Retro 50 was my best stream, by the way. I've always stood by that. Retro 100 is going to be long. I don't know if it'll be my best stream. Just because it's long doesn't mean it's the best one. Retro 50 to me was just the best show from start to finish, it had all the different features I wanted. Like, it, it was just a lot of fun to do. It did, yeah. I had the feels that day. As I thought I did, but how often do things, like, work out the way you think they will? That, that, that was a time when it really did. Jack, there you are, my friend. Take it easy, fanboy. What do you want now? Well, you remember that mushroom you found for me? It's perfect. Don't get me wrong. It's just not enough. And nine, eight... Did it? No, it didn't. That's the, that's the other thing, is that it was like... And it was during that time where that was, like, sporadically an issue. But no, nothing went wrong technically. It had, you know... The, the actual stream was great. Remake Mania? Maybe. That's not a bad idea, actually. But no, it, no, it didn't have any Elgato glitching. It didn't have any camera cutting out or sound issues. Like, it was... In, I had all kinds of issues during that time. That was uh, September of 2022. It was one of those things where, like, retros were hit or miss. It was like, sometimes I'd have no issues, sometimes it would just be all issues. But that one was, uh, and it was my longest episode. It might even be my longest stream still. It was like a little over seven hours. Yeah, so great. Ah, he's not riding this horse. What a shame. been saved 175 times boo will you stream wheelchair hey yo talk about being pigeonholed yeah how do you like it and people just make you play the same thing over and over again hey yo got him okay. where the hell am i going here good job mars also good to see you mars i think this is the longest you've stuck around in a while because usually you um Yes, I was affiliate by then. I was affiliate at the beginning of 2022. Yeah, it's been about two years now. Actually, yeah, it's been more than two years. It was like literally the beginning of 2022. Where I somehow, somehow got to affiliate, and it's, it's been quite a ride. Yeah, Retro 50 was just like, not that I, I mean, I still care about it, but like, Retro 50 was like the height of my, like, retro enthusiasm. It was like, the new Retromania format had been around about a year or so. 40 minutes ago. Nice. So, like, by Retro 50, like, I was really pushing it hard. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be, like, the biggest episode ever. And, like, it really was. <laughs> to the point where I'm like, I can't really top it now. I can only be, like, as good as it. Which is gonna be hard to do. God damn it, I really just walked to my death. 176 failures of Jack on the Wall. 160. All right, I get it. Very funny game. Very funny. Just play the nice little music and bring me back. Ooh, Yoshi. Yoshi's sweating. That'd be quite the stench now, wouldn't it? More right now. Okay, that pops some mushrooms up like way across the map that I have no way to get to. Hold on. We may or may not ever figure this out. But if we do. Okay, that 
brings that one out. Alright, I see what to do. Oh no! Oh, oh I'm not dead. Alright, I see what to do though. Let's do it. Right now. Oh no! Oh, oh camera angle's so bad there. The world has been saved 170 times seven times, boo. God damn it. I'd rather just get booed by a Halloween game called Pumpkin Jack of all things. I think Randy's, like, boycotting this stream, because I know how much he does not like Pumpkin Jack in any way. Hey, yo. Backwoods running Sonic disagrees Mars. I feel like I'm just never going to hear the end of that backwards running Sonic thing, so I'm just going to dump it. Hey, yo. Anybody can have a forward running Sonic. Also, you guys act like I made that thing. I got that offline. Like, I don't have to make a freaking gift. Got it. Boom. Shrooms. I do enjoy back of woods as opposed to front of woods. Ooh, more mushrooms. That's a lot of mushrooms, dude. Ah, uh, oh, wait a minute. Wait, what's the phonograph for? Alright. Alright, what am I watching right now? Why is he dancing? I don't know, but I'm enjoying it. The gramophone has been discovered. Alright, that just happened. It really might be racist toward your accent, whatever that means. Okay, what was the point of that just to go up here and come back down? Like, what was the point of that? I'm gonna wait till that um, goes away or whatever. Right here. It's an alright accent. Very Slovakian in nature. Okay. Let's say there's enemies over here. I'm probably supposed to go this way. This way! Ooh, enemies. Ooh, Eastern European. I can get behind that. Or East Korean, if you will. Thank you, I try. I do enjoy thank you, I try. Okay. I was told once that I sound Hindi. That's bizarre. Somebody did sound Hindi, I suppose. Ooh, mushrooms. Pakistan. There you go. Everybody sounds like something else. I feel like this is the same way. Yeah, this is the same way I went before to get that stupid, uh, Phonograph, whatever. I thought it was from Argentina. He didn't hear it from me. Or rather, that Mars is from Argentina. Oh, oh no! Oh, okay, I survived. Oh no! Curse has been broken 178 times, dang. Shad's wishes, hey yo! Telling Chad's what he's wishing for. Damn that save. Yeah, it would have been a good save if I had gotten it. I don't know where I'm supposed to go here. I really don't. No, we jam. You know, I made that mistake, like, how many years ago now? You gotta find other things to make fun of me for, because I'm sure I'll give you something. Right, what am I trying to do here? Am I supposed to, like, trigger all these? Wait a minute, there's four. Okay, here we go. Oh no! 
Ah, oh, well, you can't make an omelet without breaking 179 eggs. More loading screen right now. We'll be like I was telling Rem, like you're gonna see this screen a lot, and you're gonna hear the little like wah, 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 wah. you're gonna hear that music a lot. So there'll be no shortage of Jack failure or Bobby failure this time around. Hey yo. Ryan, oh no, they're all dropping. I might still be able to make it. Yes, I am. Ooh, these things. Watch out. It really might be. Good job, one. Ooh, more uh, mushrooms. God damn it. Woo! That was very, very frightening. Point. That's better. I'd like a little festive Halloween action to get your October started. Oh no, it's another one. It's another one. These always end with the little like head things. Oh no, I gotta do this again. God damn it. It doesn't help that the music in the background is not following this tune, so I'm not really... Damn it, I already know it's wrong. It's not, though. The music in the background is just going like... Wah! But the thing is like da, 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 da. But the music's just going oh. But the thing's supposed to be like da, 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 da. Which sounds nothing like oh. See what I mean? Like that doesn't help me at all. Hey, you really do have two. Ah, I already know that's wrong. Da, 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 da. Damn it. <laughs> that was the wrong note. The first note I hit the wrong one. Hey, yo. Oh, thank God. Dun, 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 dun. It's a catchy little tune. It's catchier than the thing going like. Ah, yeah. Alright, that was weird. In the meantime, I got some kind of weird arguments going on in the chat about Ukrainians or something. I don't know. No one even Ukrainian in this chat, as far as I know. Ooh, mushrooms. Yeehaw to the top. Now we got that stupid thing again. This one is perfect. Good job, Jack. Now bring it to me, you drug mule. Oh, wait, I'm just reading here. That's not in the game. Oh, God, that's bright. It's brighter than freaking Astrobot. Astrobot. My name is Astrobot. You ever just, like, start thinking about Astrobot songs? I'll just be sitting there and thinking about one of, like, the main themes or whatever. Aha, another marvelous, whatever, brilliant Jack. All right, are we done with your little shopping list now? Yes, certainly. The horse is yours. Take him as far as he'll go and keep going after. I guess you don't get a lot of company over if that's how you give people directions. Hey, yo. 
All right, this might be the more. That was one of these that was pretty challenging. Maybe it's this one. That first one was not too hard. Oh shit. Yeah, this is. There's like one where you just keep crashing into the walls because it's just the turning is so tight. I think there's three of these, so probably the third one. I think, I don't know, the game loves to throw a gimmick at you that's like fun for like 30 seconds and then just keep repeating it. By the last time it does it, you're just like, why am I doing this again? Do not know a jack. Ah, I, oh, I've worked with a couple jacks. I don't really know a lot of them personally, but I've had a couple jacks that work. My various jobs, my swords. I always said, like, Bob or Bobby was, like, a common name. Like, I've only met, like, one other Bob in my life, and a lot of other people don't know a lot of other Bobbies either. Like, not as common as I would have thought. I mean, I'm including, like, Robert in that. Like, I haven't met a lot of people named Robert, Bob, Robbie, whatever. Like, maybe, like, one or two in my entire life. I thought it was, like, a more common name than that. Maybe it's just the area I'm in. I don't know. I meet, like, a lot of people with the same name. Like, I meet, like, a lot of Joes and Johns and Mikes and Chris's. Like, that's, like, kind of it. Bobby, not many, if any. Like, I know maybe, like, one or two other Bobs. I'm not counting the guy from Bob's Furniture, because he's, like, a minor celebrity. Hey, oh. Yeah, he's all right. That Bobby, he's okay. I can't believe I survived another lap of that stupid, like, ghost horse thing. That must be what it is about this game. I thought this game had, like, a lot of little levels in it. I guess they're just, like, six or seven really big levels. Because, like, it only gave me, like, six choices for where to go for a level. Ooh, snowman. We must be getting toward the end of the game. Some spoilers there. Bob's Burgers. Well, yeah, I mean, not fictional characters. I mean, like, actual people I've met in my life named Bob. Peter. I don't... I know a couple Pete's. Just like Pete. I don't really know, like... Yeah, and that's not a super common name here. At least in this area. Maybe in other areas of the country. Hey, Peter. Get over here. Kind of spooky looking. We're doing hey, yo. Yes, that would never get old. Just like the thing from the TV show. Bob Burgers. Oh, God, I'm getting blasted here. Enemies. Oh no! More enemies. Dead. I do enjoy Yippee Kaye. Alright. Weird sound effects. What happened here? Oh, is this, there's one part of this game I just remembered. You go through like these little mazes, and like if you pick the wrong direction, the tree just falls on you, and that's the end of it. Like, you just die. I don't think it's this part, though. Like, there's no way to, it's just like, go left or right, and if you go the wrong way, the game will just stop and a tree will fall on you. Oh, this boat part, I remember this. Or at least I remember a part that's similar to this. Yeah, we're going to be on some kind of janky boat pretty soon. Yeah, we'll see. You, know, you guys got me opening restaurants and retiring from streaming, doing all these things that I didn't know I was doing. And I, what, what do I know, I guess? Who knows where my life's gonna go, but apparently you guys know. We'll drive in. Hey, yo, he's right, though. Don't have to get out of your car or anything. Off of the races are right there. That's a million dollar idea. Whoa, watch out, fire. New checkpoint. Who's the ghost from before? Ah, oh, you must be Jack. How do you know my name, you overrated? Gondolier, or whatever the fuck your name is. Word travels fast around here. I've been paid in advance to take you to the witch, but I still accept tips. First flying horses and now penny dropping ferrymen. What's next? Complain all you want, but I'm your only way to where you're headed. 
Alright, fine, I can use the rest. The nice calm boat ride sounds pretty good to me. Is there anything about calm? I was gonna say, I remember this, but it's definitely not calm. This is when the boat starts spinning and sh oh, this part sucks. This part sucks. I'm gonna complain. Nah, not really. I guess I can go. Ah, row, row, row your boat. Gently down the dangerous stream. Yeah, this is the fun part, all right. When it starts to go sideways. Oh, okay, jump ship. Then at some point, it starts to flip. Ooh, enemies! Oh, no! Ouch! What's up with that? Yeah, he was right. This is not a very combo right in the least. If you see a video game or drink is not as audience as you like that. There's a lot of people reading this short time. She had a video where Drake is mad at his audience because he was asking people to stand up and there were two people in wheelchairs. He was so offended that he almost left the concert saying how he feels he's been standing for a long time. I know that it's died in the game, but that's alright. He's been waiting for a long time for people to stand up. Hey, yo. And on top of that, we got a view from Deep Seated Royalists offering us the best viewers on 05QAM. Fuck it, it's not a real website. I'm not going to read it. Likely harasser restricted. That's new. Let's be honest, you gotta experience remodeling a place to arcade. I really do. Even though that was not real experience. I wonder if that still counts as a viewer, though. We've got company out the star. Oh no! Company! It's not real company. It's like when people are sarcastic. Like, guess who's coming to dinner? It's like, not knowing you want. Oh yeah. There's a lot of ghosts and skeletons. Viewers, where did you guys not see the bot? Maybe, maybe it really does hide it. It was like a, a bot that was like, you know, want viewers, blah blah blah. But it said on my end restricted or something like, I don't know. But I was just wondering if that counts toward the um, what do you call it, the view count? If it does, oh man, I almost went as bad as I remember it. All right, good. Oh no. Okay, now it's as bad as I remember. a new thing. Oh, sweet. I'll take it. God knows I will need to buy viewers. Hey, yo! Hey, if I didn't have to buy viewers, you don't have to buy viewers. It's oh. hella unlike unlikable. And here we are with some viewers. More right now. Must have been nice. Company out the stone. Oh, trying to jump ship! I at least like that it gives you like the voice command. You kind of know. You gotta pay attention to that while fighting up these stupid enemies that keep attacking. It's a lot of stupid enemies that keep attacking. You even stream, bro? God damn it, that thing's gotta stop attacking. And it. See you again soon enough. Am I supposed to, like, follow the boat, or is that the end of that sequence? Like, I feel like the boat's gonna catch up here or something. We'll find out. Let him cook. Depends what's he making. Yep, the boat is right there. I had a feeling the boat part wasn't over yet. Yeah, that is the important part of cooking is learning how to cook. What they tell me. What are you waiting for? Hey yo. Got you there. This is giving me like an odd God of War vibe. Like, oh, oh, oh. Here we are. I'm gonna say, like, how long was that ride? By the way, I captured the issue on video shads. What issue would that be? There's uh, quite a few issues that I'm having. Oh no, this is the forest part, isn't it? I have heard of Cooking Mama. Oh no, I know exactly what part this is. This is the part I was talking about. The consensual was just magic. But watch your steps. Something tells me the forest is dangerous if you don't know the way. If you're not careful, one wrong step. Yep. This sucks. Well, the plot contrivance. Don't dwell on it. Just get going. This sucks. As far as I'm concerned, you literally just pick a path. 
and like just hope you went the right way. I did not go the right way. This is I fucking hate this part. Why is this a thing? If you had a penny for every time you die, you have one pennies. This is like literally go left or right, and whichever way you go will usually be wrong. And the game will just stop like that, and a tree will hit you. Because apparently you can get hit by everything else, but not a tree. Okay, I got four different ways to go here. There's like no logic to this part. That would be nice. Die. Yep. I hate this. Good news is I've already beaten this game, so I don't really have to do this. I'm just kind of kind of try to improvise it, but the fact that this is even in the game, it's like literally just pick a direction. Sometimes it's four directions, and if you pick the wrong one, a tree just randomly decapitates you. So we already know not to go that way. So we go this way. You know what we need is you just go to complete games on... Yes, you've been very vocal about that. This game would be one of them. I, I can only tell you, like, when I stream, I'll remember if I complete it or not. Like, this would be one of them. I'm trying to think of other games I stream, because a lot of games I stream are, like, open-ended, like Rocket League or Mario Kart, so I'm not counting those. Um, Spider-Man PS4, I've beaten the main story. I haven't beaten the DLC. God of War, I haven't beaten... It'd be easier to list the games I haven't completed. Alright, so. In terms of which way to go here. I think that way killed me before. Okay, that way it's got like obstacles ahead, so I'm guessing that's a way I could go. Maybe. Ow. You did complete Final Fantasy. Yes, I did after many, many years. Which is why I always say, like, you know, the hope is still alive. Like, I haven't played, like, Kingdom Hearts in years. But, like, I could beat that game someday. Like, it's a lot of games where it seems like I'm just never going to beat them. But. I'm saying, there's, like, still, like, enemies or whatever on the path ahead. I'm guessing that's the right way to go. I did complete Sonic Frontiers. Actually, quite a few times, just only once on stream. Okay, there's birds there. And it's not that I don't complete games, because I can't complete games. It's just I have no focus, and I only play games once in a while. I've been playing Doom Eternal for three years, and I haven't completed it, but it's not because I can't complete it. Yeah, some games are probably too difficult for me, but I generally don't play those games for long. Played every track in Mario Kart. I mean, I guess in that case, well, I don't even know if I've done that, but probably. Okay, I made it through that nonsense. Not much farther, Jack. She can hardly wait to meet you. I'm pretty sure this ends up being a trick and I have to fight them both. <sighs> Still gotta go through the rest of this forest, though. Hmm. 
Yeah, he really does. Ouch! All right, enemies, I guess. Why don't these guys just take a walk in the woods? I don't know. I mean, every, I mean, I guess. I mean, it's not good technical. I don't really play those kind of games. Oh, so. I see what you're saying, though. Yeah, I played both those games pretty long. I really don't know which way to go here. This is more mushroom crap. Okay. Wait, okay. Am I like right back to this guy again? Oh, no, this is the witch. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I feel like you're just trying to give me points here. Like, yeah, yeah, you know, you kind of completed a thing. Like, yeah, all right, in that case, I've beaten, like, 20 games. Like, I don't care how many games I beat. You guys care more than I do. I don't play games to beat them. I play them to have fun and chat with my friends. I'm almost sad when I beat a game because I'm like, oh, now the journey's over. Yeah, yeah ultimately, that is the goal, but... Finally, someone appreciates my hard forged legacy. I'm still I'm pretty sure this ends up being a boss fight. And actually one of the harder boss fights in this game, which generally doesn't have a lot of boss fights, let alone challenging ones. Can you know, champion of course I know. World word travels fast, you know. So I've been told, so what can you tell me? Hmm, perhaps you'd like to know his name. His name, yes, tell me. Oh yes, Jack. Anything for a legend like you. Now listen closely, the wizard's name is Yoink. Oh, there you go. Yoink. 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 What kind of name is Yoink? No, no, no. You're not saying it right. It's more like Yoink. Yeah, I know. They, they take whatever you have. Whatever. Yep. Oh, damn it. That was my only head. What the hell are you doing? I'm so sorry to trick you, Jack, but after all, it is one of yours. My own poise used against me. Well played, you harpy. Don't forget my part in all this, Jack. Shush, hon, you're sounding really desperate. Put me back right now. I'm afraid I can't do that, Jack. I'm cooking up something magical, and you're just what I need to put it all together. We should go, dear, before we miss our time. Right, away, away. This is horrible. What the heck are we going to do now? They're going to get Jack back before they hollow out his noggin even more. But, but how? You know how Jack can hop in and out of his body? Yes. Well, hop in. Erp, I think I need to throw up first. We better head off now. Ha 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 ha. I get it. Dude, it's it. This pumpkin is perfect, and it's the last ingredient I need. This pumpkin is going to be right back in the race. Alright, time to play as a bird head. And ride a horse. Only in this game. Oh, I get it. The headless horseman. Okay, that actually is kind of clever. Oh, God. Okay. I will, I will admit this is kind of clever with the music and everything. I don't know why I don't remember this part. I remember like running through the woods, but I don't remember getting shot at. Okay, this is clever. The headless horseman and the freaking music with the haunted twist to it. That's pretty cool. Why am I humming it with it? You guys can hear it. I find myself actually. I'm gonna lean toward I like this game. I, uh, before the stream, my question is: Do I actually like this game, or am I just like nostalgic for it? I think I like this game enough to play it again. Like, it's not like a 10 out of 10 masterpiece, but I think it serves a point. I don't like stuff like this. It's creative enough where I can overlook some of the flaws, because there are flaws. There are definitely some flaws. Yeah, that's just my take on it. I mean, if it's not a game I'd recommend dropping any serious amount of money on, but if you're a Halloween fan and a platformer fan, it, it does the job. Oh, I remember this boss. Hmm. 
Yeah, don't they just like make his yeah, they try to make his head in a pumpkin soup or something. Why eat me? This is hardly cruelty free. That is true. I hate it so much. Uh I'm sure. Ah, oh, got it. I mean there's a lot. I'm trying to think of like games from retro or even games from here where I just like I'm done or whatever. I remember like Metro 2033, believe it or not. I was bored as hell at. Both insane. I may be a coward, but I'm taking Jack back. You don't want to stay for dinner? Ha ha ha. Well then, you'll make a fine centerpiece for our spread. Don't scuff up my body, bird. I just got that thing. Eat. Alright, this is a boss fight. I'm trying to remember how you play this. What do I do with the eyes? Do I hit the ones that are red back at it? Okay, I guess I can't. Okay, I have to hit the green ones back at them. Yeah, this boss is tough though, because you gotta like hit like enough of the eyes out at once. While avoiding the red ones. Your aim is not very good. You have to do this like a bunch of times. It's been a while since I played this. I say this might actually be the hardest boss in the game, but the final boss is not that difficult. Not even that this is that difficult, it's just there aren't a lot of hard bosses in the game. There aren't a lot of bosses, period. There might only be like four bosses in the whole game. The only reason I even call this a boss is because, like, you, you know, you have to hit it, do this pattern three or four times to beat it. That's the only reason. Trying to get him to drop something over here. Green ones explode after a while. Okay, how do they not hit that head on? If you're the island, you're the one. I feel like this is a question I get asked way too often in these weird scenarios, but uh, probably something Sonic related. Probably Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Uh, I, I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do, but I'm not going really to do it. Hold on, there's another one on the lower level. Okay, come on, start shooting him down here. Okay, those green ones do, ouch, do give you health back if you hit them before they explode. How did I not get that other eye with it? I gotta get it to drop one. It pretty much just drops him wherever you are, so. There we go. That drops at a level. Now it gets a little harder. I do here. I have to avoid this. Take out the vines. I don't know if it's hard so much. I think that the first time I played it, I just didn't know what to do. It's kind of like Sonic stuff where it's like, it's hard until you figure it out. So the first few times I played this, I probably kept like dying. Okay, now this part again. I think now I can just hit the eyes, right? The eyes are right there. I don't, I shouldn't have to like throw some at them. I guess I still have to throw some at them. Oh shit. A little bit harder now because I got this guy coming down to attack me. Plus, even though the things are right in front of me, for some reason my aim is just awful. Alright, that one's out. Yeah, the other problem is if you fail a part of this, you get to start the whole thing again. not be as hard as it is. No, the aim is like off most of the time. How did that only get one of them? Dude, those are right at me. Oh, I'm almost dead. Not the time you just panic hit them and they just go flying off. Can I really not just, like, hit the frickin' eye that's right in front of me? I 
I'm dead. I don't know. I hope it lets me start from the second part of the fight. I don't think it will. I could be wrong. It's just an annoying fight. I mean, I'm not that determined to beat this. No, it makes you start the whole thing again. I can. Uh, good point. I felt like the gun might do something. The gun keeps locking on to the things and not the eyeballs. Nah, I shot the, the thing right in the eye. I still didn't do anything. But at least with the shotgun, if I shoot one of those vials, I get help from it. If I know I can't hit. Should, the gun has a bit better aim. I actually don't even know what all his weapons do. They're basically the same thing almost. Like, you just hit Y and he does whatever weapons equip. So you just swing an axe, you just swing a shovel. The gun is good against long range enemies. In this case, it doesn't really do anything though. Anything different, you're basically just hitting it with a gun instead of like, like a real gun. This part's not that hard. It's the second part. And then I think the third part gets even faster. This part could help a little bit. Like I said, this is not the end of the world. If I don't beat this, it's a pretty good one. This one I know I beat. Oh, wow, all right, all right. Hold on, how do I do this part now? Now I got, like, no health left. Same thing, but I think it goes faster this time. Fuck, watch out. And they're literally like, yeah, I'm dead. I was gonna say, the things are literally right in front of me. I could probably just hit them real quick. All right, this is my last attempt. Win or lose, I'm done after this, because I'm getting tired, and we, we got our maybe yearly fix the pumpkin jack. I don't know if we're gonna come back to this game or not, but it's always a good time to play it. Nonetheless. All right, yep, gotta start this again. What other weapons do I have, out of curiosity? What does green guy do? Also, like I said, all the weapons do basically the same thing. Just a slashing weapon. Uh, we know what the gun does. What, is, what does this one do? It's a sword. Again, it slashes in a direction. Like they all do base. No, well, hold on. What's this one? It makes some darkness appear. Can I just shoot that at the eye? No, well, that'd be too easy. This is the scythe. I guess that gives me more range. Really, not one weapon that makes me feel like, oh, I got the advantage here. Uh, green, I can do the shovel, that's his default weapon, which again is just a projectile or a, an item that you swing at something. You really don't put much more thought into it than that. It's an item, and you swing at it. Is this part alone would be like, not. But it would be like a decent enough challenge. But then that other stupid asshole comes down and starts attacking you while you're trying to aim and knock all these lines out or whatever. I mean, is it a hard boss? Not really. But in this game, where there's very few bosses, I guess it's the hardest. Placement of things is very frustrating at times. And like I said, he keeps showing up and messing with you. Okay, I can't hit them in the, during the air. That's good to know. I 
had him down to like the last hit too. Problem is I was so low on health and I saw that too. Oh, I the aim is so shame. That's like a straight shot. How did I miss that? I got him. I know, I, like I said, this really is not the end of the world. I really don't care. Like, I'm sure the first time I played it, I cared about it, but it's like, you really don't. Like, the final boss isn't even that hard in this game. To the point where I played the final boss, I'm like, there's no way that's it. You know, that was it. So, I've actually died to this boss a few times. I think I died to the final boss for once. Like I said, I really, I do not care. I've beaten this boss before, and I've beaten this game before. It's not really... Uh, as soon as I saw I was at this part, I'm like, I kind of have a feeling it's going to be that rotating boss. Plus, I also don't like that part where you go through the woods and randomly die. But you know what I do like is the fact that we got to spend some time today playing some Pumpkin Jack. Yeah, I almost had it. But, yeah, the title says it all. Uh, Pumpkin Jack, one of the... Uh, premier quote-unquote games that I play every uh, Halloween season. Got to see it again in action tonight. And uh, first of many, well, we'll see what many means, but first of some Halloween streams for sure. But uh, for right now, I'll be signing off. And uh, as always, I thank you all for watching. Have a great October. I'll be here for most of it. So uh, we will see you next time. And as always, stay chaotic. We're out. Chaos. Yeah. <laughs>